ever heard about a person having over 2.9 million times return on his investment over 25 years? Well, one of the most powerful and supposedly dangerous investors, Peter Thiel, was the brain behind PayPal. Today among the top 300 richest men on earth, he turned the world upside down from some of his decisions and impressive ideas. But who is Peter Thiel and why are we so interested in knowing this man? Peter Thiel was born in Frankfurt, West Germany in 1967 and soon his family flew with him to the US. There he was one of the smartest and most competitive geniuses in his classroom. He was an avid chess player and he played so well that he was once the undefeated US chess champion. His excellence in academics led him to the prestigious Stanford University in 1985 where he first pursued a BA in philosophy. And our hero started to bring the change he was always looking for. During this time he founded the Stanford Review, a newspaper that was critical of political correctness and prevailed on free speech inside the campus from 1987. In 1989 he completed his graduation but felt that he still lacked a lot of knowledge and skills. Obviously, Peter was hungry. He was hungry to become big and powerful. And what's a better profession than being a lawyer? So he then decided to continue studying and he attended Stanford's law school after which he served as a clerk to a veteran judge of the US and as a securities lawyer for Sullivan and Cromwell in New York. He left the law firm after seven months and three days, citing a lack of material value in his work. He started to enter the world of finance. Following this, he took a job as a derivatives trader in currency options at Credit Suisse. He joined them in 1993 while also working as a speechwriter for former United States Secretary of Education William Bennett, before returning to California in 1996 to seek a more meaningful occupation. While the background of Peter ends here, we now jump into the era that made Peter Thiel one of the strongest financial geeks in the US. If you keep note of the timeline, it is in 1996 that he started to dream big. He identified the dot-com bubble and knew that this could change the world. With financial support from friends and family, he raised $1 million toward the establishment of Thiel Capital Management and embarked on his venture capital career. So his job timeline walked from being a clerk to being a venture capitalist. But our hero did not hit a six in the first investment. Early on, he experienced a setback after investing $100,000 in his friend Luke Nosek's unsuccessful web-based calendar project. Luck changed when Nosek's friend Max Levchin introduced him to his cryptography-related company idea, which later became their first venture called Confinity in 1998. With Confinity, Thiel realized they could develop software to bridge a gap in making online payments. Although using credit cards and ATM networks provided consumers with more payment options, not all merchants had the necessary hardware to accept credit cards. Thus, consumers had to pay with exact cash or check. Thiel wanted to create a digital wallet for consumer convenience and security by encrypting data on digital devices, and in 1999 Confinity launched PayPal. In the words of Peter Thiel, we're definitely onto something big. The need for PayPal answers is monumental. Everyone in the world needs money, to get paid, to trade, to live. Paper money is an ancient technology and an inconvenient means of payment. You can run out of it. It wears out. It can get lost or stolen. In the 21st century, people need a form of money that's more convenient and secure, something that can be accessed from anywhere with a PDA or an internet connection. He was way ahead of his time and that's what made him Peter Thiel. PayPal then continued to grow and in 2000 PayPal merged with another of Elon Musk's online financial services companies X.com, forming the famous PayPal Mafia Group. PayPal went public on February 15, 2002 and was sold to eBay for $1.5 billion in October of that year. Thiel remained CEO of the company until the sale. Now after this sale, our founder had enough money to survive the rest of his life but his dreams were big and his plans bigger. His 3.7% stake in the company was worth $55 million at the time of acquisition. He took out $10 million to set up a hedge fund company called Clarium. Today the company has a $350 million AUM and Thiel holds more than two-thirds of the company's shares. He then eyed the world of investing and turned into an angel investor. He is popularly known for being the first outside investor of Facebook and has funded companies like Airbnb and Spotify. He eyed tomorrow with absolute brilliance. In 2003, Thiel successfully bet that the United States dollar would weaken. His final investment of $55 million was in establishing his own venture and the growth here is something no one could have imagined. In May 2003, Thiel incorporated Palantir Technologies, a big data analysis company. Peter continues to serve as its chairman as of 2022. His company is currently at a valuation of $17 billion US dollars today with Thiel being the company's largest shareholder.
Now let's enter the last segment that makes our highly successful, powerful investor the most dangerous man in the market. Thiel has been involved in active politics. When a popular news channel questioned him on his homosexuality, Peter filed a case, strong enough to bring the company down. He has strong political connections with ex-presidents like John McCain, Donald Trump, and even Joe Biden. He has even been involved with the governorship of California. By February 2022 of the 2022 election campaign, Thiel was one of the largest donors to Republican candidates with more than $20.4 million in contributions. The story of Peter Thiel is of a mastermind who has been growing at a phenomenal pace and has placed bets in the future. He seems to have a strong grasp on what may follow. And when you learn that all of this was accomplished with only a $1,700 investment, you can surely agree that he is the world's best investor and is revolutionizing both politics and money. This was Peter Thiel. For more such stories and learning, do follow our channel and tell us more about your opinion on Peter Thiel.